Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Spill the Tea with the Abebe's. My name is Nicole Abebe, and yes, guys, I am joined with my cousin. Yours truly. <laughs> the goddess. <laughs> my way, Abebe. <laughs> well, that took a while to get out, but you could. <laughs> Darling, don't kill me, right? <laughs> Okay, everyone, today's topic, we are talking about consent and when no means no. And everyone, please welcome the media personality and journalist, Sandra Ezekwisele. Did I say that right? Close enough. Close enough, <laughs> I am. Ezekwisele. You see? You can even say that. Ezekwisele. It's fine. <laughs> We got we we got there in the end. We got there in the end. You know. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Welcome to Spill the tea with you, baby. Thank you, thank you. Yes, we are a crazy bunch. So I, I did ask when, when I, I got on if they were twins and it cost them more. I yes. mean, everyone's been saying that since they we walked do in there. We do like. We don't like. Yes, we do. We do. Yes, we really? do. Like, what is it? It's just features. But same, that's... same jaw, same cheeks. Same jaw. Same eye. I don't like her jaw. <laughs> I don't like your cheeks. So shush. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, it's so good to have you here, my darling. Thank you for having me. I'm, and, I'm um, excited to be here. You know, this topic, we know that you can definitely relate to. Consent and when no means no. Mm. Please let us know what is consent. <sighs> okay, so the the perfect um, analogy uh, that I've heard for consent is this video that was done by um, one of the police departments in Britain, and they um, associated it with tea. And it's a good hmm. thing that we're having tea. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Why are my manners no, so you're, terrible? You're like, well, wait, this is like what you do, though. Like, I don't know why. Why you're you're scatterbrained sometimes, I darling. I need it like... to be better. <laughs> okay, darling. Yes. Would you like some iced tea and also some of our special tea? Oh. I'm sure you'd love both. See, that's consent. You asked me. Ooh! See, and I'm about to say yes or no. <laughs> Big shout out to Tea Storia. Love, love, love all their tea. So let me just pass that to you. So what kind Thanks. of tea is it? Oral. Uh, 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 what do you mean? I'm just asking. Oh, she's asking for oral tea. What oral kind of tea? Wow, I, this is a that trick really not on See, see that's that, that, that wow. consent. Though. I'm on the hot spot now. <laughs> <laughs> that's consent, though. Yeah. Oh, well, it is a tea that I do believe you will take orally. Okay. Yeah. So it's the kind of tea that you would put in my mouth. I'll put it in my mouth. You could put it in your mouth yourself. We could help you out if wow, that's what this you, you need going some help. Oh, total different yeah, direction. Like, I'm just asking questions here. Yeah, she's asking for consent, Moe. I love that. <laughs> I'm asking you to specify. <laughs> It's crazy how a lot of people may actually believe mm -hmm. that, you know, little kids in a sense, you know, I, I don't even know what is actually the age for, for consent. consent in Nigeria. Um, so if you ask some people, they'll tell Darling. you it's um, 12, but some mm -hmm. publications will tell you it's 18. Mm -hmm. So there's no um, certainty what the age is. If you do a Google search right now, for people who are watching us, do a Google search. Some some publications will tell you 11, some will tell mm. you 12, some will tell you 18. Mm -hmm. um, but personally, I like to say 18 mm. because an 18 year old is an adult. You're not old enough to drink in a lot of countries. Mm. I've been drinking, by the way, because I'm old <laughs> enough to drink. <laughs> but <laughs> yes, to that. You're, you're, not me. <laughs> <laughs> you're not old enough to drink in some countries. But um, you are an adult. Mm. If you commit a crime, you'd go to jail for it. So society believes, the larger society that has sense, believes that at 18, you are old enough to judge uh, between what is right and wrong, mm. make decisions for yourself, determine what actions could um, present certain consequences. And, and, and that's what I, I prefer to go with, 18. Okay. Mm. Uh, I, I love the fact that you have this podcast that is, you know, I, I, I have... I've caught your show a couple of times. Okay, hard facts. Um, right. Hard facts, yes. Hard facts. Mm -hmm. um, and I love how, you know, you touch on topics that in a sense, I feel like we also in a sense sort of touch on mm -hmm. here. Yeah. Um, and I've, 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 I, I love the fact that, you know, you touch on these topics and these are in a sense controversial things, people that don't, you know, things people don't necessarily want to talk about. Mm -hmm. What necessarily inspired hard facts? Um, so the station I work for, Nigeria Info, 
had the show, so I, I came on and met the name of the show. Really. Okay, so I like the name of the show because <laughs> yeah. so, it's hard facts. Yeah, so um, <laughs> I have to provide hard facts, mm. and so I can tell you, for instance, um, the data about consent. I can tell mm. you the data um, about um, what a lack of consent leads to, which is rape. I can mm. tell you how sexual assault is more prevalent amongst um, women mm. uh, or more perpetrated against women um, than it is against men. I can also tell you the data for the numbers that have been reported for men right so that's what the show is you know you talk about these things but you present the facts to back them up and i understand mm -hmm. why we have her on the show that's today. what it is exactly. <laughs> now when you talk about consent now people like you said if the age of consent is 18 years old mm -hmm. below 18 you you are not old enough to give your consent. Yeah. Now, many of us grew up in households that we had house help in. Like, this is some hard facts. Like, some mm -hmm. of us grew up with help in our households. Mm -hmm. And there are so many cases. Everybody has heard a story of children being molested by house help. Yeah. Now, obviously, these kids weren't able to give their consent no, and weren't. everything. And what do you just think, like, is the real issue with, like, rape and all these, like, things going on in households? The issue is consent. Yeah, so number literally. one, a child cannot give consent. Mm -hmm. The adult knows that the child cannot give consent. And so what they do is uh, make threats. Mm -hmm. So if you don't let me do this to you, I'll tell mommy you broke this vase. Mm -hmm. If you don't let me do this to you, I'll tell mommy you failed in class or you were beat up, etc., etc. And what fuels the environment for situations like that is parents who create an environment where their children cannot be honest with them, mm. be open with them. Cannot communicate. Yes, an environment of fear, which if you think about it, a lot of us growing up grew yep. up in houses oh. like that. Mm -hmm. Daddy's back. Oh. Sometimes, sometimes you don't even need to hear daddy's back, just hear his car. And you just start <laughs> his horn, And somebody. everybody's taking, in my house, it was mommy. Mommy's yeah, car Yeah, yeah, my what? house was mommy. Yeah, my house, mommy's <laughs> car struck fear mm. into everybody. So if you are that afraid of of your parents um, chances are you will not want to tell them that the help is doing something to mm. you especially because the help um, um, has threatened to harm you further mm. and you're left more often than not in the care of the help yeah so if you if you fess up um, chances are your parents will actually beat you so your parents will number one blame you for what happened and beat you mm. for your role in it mm -hmm. parents at the time didn't understand that there was nothing the child could have done to bring sexual assault upon themselves mm. to bring sexual harassment upon themselves to bring rape upon themselves mm. right so they they treated us oh you're wayward in my in my place in a meharala you know, so that means, yes. you know, you are yeah, just doing rubbish, that. just bad behaved. The ego people who are watching will translate it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so so they, they turn it into a, oh, I failed as a parent. Mm. Whoa, it's me, ha ha. You know, instead of a, oh my God, my child has been hurt. Yes. This is the person hurt. who has hurt my child. I need to get justice for my child. I love that you say hurt because it's quite interesting that when it comes to men or let's say the boy child mm -hmm. it's like oh yeah i was molested by my house help oh, 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 oh bad boy i'm fine oh shit big boy you you know you've, you've become a man mm. uh, and it, it's it's quite scary that a lot of the stories that i hear when even just virginity stories oh how did you lose your, how did you lose your, your virginity mostly from men it's like oh i lost my it to my mate. house mm -hmm. help my mm -hmm. mid and I just feel like more needs to be done, mm -hmm. especially concerning the boy child. I do agree. you agree? I agree with you. What do you think can be done? Um, again, it's um, raising boys to know that they can have feelings. Mm -hmm. Their feelings are safe. Mm -hmm. Their tears are safe. Mm -hmm. Their complaints are safe. Mm -hmm. Our boys are raised very early to just chest it. Now, man, you be. Now, man, you be. <laughs> you know? <laughs> How can you come and cry? That's That's a girl beat you in class mm. how can you come and cry that a, how a you... girl touched you inappropriately no 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 no. let's start with other things so first things first as a boy a girl is not supposed to come first in class mm -hmm. you're supposed to come first
first and the girl will come second. I'm talking about like class positions now mm. at the end of the term. Mm. So you come home and you're a boy and you are second position. You have your parents say, how, how can you do that? A girl passed you a girl. So you're learning early on that anything a girl does to you demeans you in some way, dehumanizes you in some way, uh, emasculates you in some way. And so when your help, the house help, your nanny, your carer, then goes on to sexually assault you, you don't want to um, report that another girl has emasculated you in some way. So as parents, we need to do better work raising our boys to understand that there is safe space for them to talk about their hurt, their pain, their tears, their fears. You're as human as the girl. Mm, I agree. I think that boys should get the same amount of sex education and advice that girls get. Yep. Because when I was, especially growing up, I was taught to like, oh, be careful of what you wear. You don't mm. want men to like, to think that they can have you. Mm. But men, boys, especially as just as vulnerable growing up, yeah. they might be predatory women out there that are trying to... There are. There predatory. are. Like ah. I you say, might be. Mm. There, there are predatory women out there. So I'm a very strong advocate that boys should get the same amount of warnings mm -hmm. same amount of advice mm -hmm. and just like you said know that they are safe and they can be heard and listened to yeah mm -hmm. it's crazy I yeah. quite agree. do you feel that a lot of boys also like or in a sense love the idea of maybe let's say cougars a woman older than them you can like it but the responsibility is on the older woman to not rape you mm. because i mean the the children want to drink alcohol but exactly. we don't give it to them to drink mm -hmm. they want to smoke weed we don't give it to them to smoke we say no wait until you're older mm -hmm. right it's the same way they want some older punani don't give them older punani <laughs> Love it. Am I allowed to say that? I'm not allowed like, to say whatever you want. You say what the <laughs> fuck you want. Bill, <laughs> anything. As the adult, you say, I'm not going to have sex with you. There's nothing that can happen to you. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? So you have all the power. If the child insists, oh, please have sex with me, go report them for disciplinary action. You have all the power there. This is the issue most especially when we are talking about sexual harassment with, you know, or amongst peers. Mm -hmm. You know, um, a lot of people will say that, okay, you have given me permission. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we are literally on the bed. We are literally every, naked. Yeah, and withdraw consent at every okay. point. All right. While I'm kissing you, I can mm -hmm. withdraw consent. While I'm touching your breasts, I can withdraw consent. While I'm touching your stomach, I can withdraw consent. Mm -hmm. While I'm eating you out, I can withdraw consent. Mm -hmm. At the point where I'm about to penetrate you, I can withdraw consent. Even when I've penetrated you, I can withdraw consent. I think it's better to not have sex than have sex and be called a rapist afterwards. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Melanie, you're listening. There are many boys and girls that <laughs> cry wolf. So much so that it's hard for people to actually come out and say that, oh, I do feel like I was abused. I do feel like I was harassed because who's gonna believe me especially in the workplace like maybe your boss did come on to you in an inappropriate manner but mm -hmm. he's my superior mm -hmm. maybe he gets to HR before I get to mm -hmm. HR he's older than me he has more experience I might still be out of a job so like how do how do we even get to pass that situation of like knowing who is actually telling the truth because mm -hmm. it's so hard well um we're talking sexual assault now or sexual yes. harassment? Well, both, I mean, to be honest. We kind of do go hand in hand because harassment can turn I into assault. I feel like it's, yes, it then eventually may turn into assault. Mm. So the question is, um, how do we prove that assault has mm. happened? How do we prove that yeah, harassment? Like, like the he you said, can document she it. said. You can document it. Um, a lot of conversations happen over text message these days. So mm -hmm. you can screenshot and screenshot and screenshot. A harasser doesn't stop harassing you. Mm -hmm. You know, so you come into the office one day, ooh, I like, love that dress on you. It does wonderful things that for your That is true. That is very accurate, actually. You know, so ooh, I harasser love that. Harasser never stops harassing you. Know, I love, I love what mm -hmm. the Until dress. Until he gets caught. Yeah. Still have harassers I love what the dress does for your breasts. Um, so I'm uncomfortable with that comment. Um, it's not appropriate, don't do that again. And then you come the next day, oh, that your ass is premium, A grade. So I'm uncomfortable, don't make that comment again. But that time, come with a recorder, record him saying it. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, when you go to HR, you'll probably lose your job for doing that because we're in Nigeria mm -hmm. and Nigeria is largely lawless and mm -hmm. with things like sexual lawless. harassment, <laughs> with things like sexual harassment, it tends to go 
in the direction of the person with the upper hand. Mm. Even though these days with social media, it's a bit yes. more difficult to get away with. So mm. you can air them on social media. Mm. We'll back but you back. do yes. that knowing that you are risking that job. Mm -hmm. Because mm. we still do not have enough people who would go to bat for you in organizations where you're suffering um, sexual harassment, mm. right? So you probably lose that job. You could get other jobs, but it could also make you a pariah. So you mm. will not be able to get other jobs because yeah, this already reports you may be blacklisted exactly. exactly. Yeah. So these are the consequences well. that you have to um, assess, decide you want to take them on, and then um, take them on as the case may be. Mm. So, 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 do you feel that more of calling out? More, because I feel like Maybe a lot of, a, yes, a lot of, a lot of, um, you know, the reason is in a sense why we are sort of under this whole consent. Is it? Is it consent? Is it no means? No, like, like we're so confused about the topic is because a lot of it happens with rape apologists, bystanders who witness these type of things but choose not to say. Mm -hmm. So do you feel that we should, in a sense, actually talk more about it? We yeah. should call out people. Yeah, and, yeah. and, and we are. I, I believe we're talking a lot about it. I believe we need to talk a lot more about it. Mm -hmm. um, calling out doesn't work. I mean, we're, well, shameless, doesn't? we're, we're shameless people in Nigeria. Mm. I mean, Kevin got a movie in Merriman for crying out loud. <laughs> If, if calling out Whoa. worked, he wouldn't... Spill the tea, just, <laughs> just sip some tea, please. Sip some tea. <laughs> oh, gosh. Wow. Okay. <laughs> If calling out worked, he wouldn't have a job in the mm. industry. But mm. it doesn't work. The band was in Onye Highway video. Very... Should I speak more? Okay. Mm. All right. I think I should just stop talking now. <laughs> No, please we don't. Love it. We love it. We, we, we love you. Absolutely speaking. love it. Totally. But, but it, it, it's, 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 it's amazing that you, that you are touching on that. You know? um, so, I mean, you have all these people who have had allegations come mm -hmm. out against them. Um, the details are fuzzy at best, especially with the Debanj case. The details are fuzzy. Um, there was no actual investigation. There are no facts out. But my point is calling out doesn't do much. Mm. So the answer is to get our lawmakers to get serious mm. about um, prosecuting um, sexual harassment. If our lawmakers get serious about it, they will force the police to get serious about mm. it. Girl, you realize that when you are raped and get to the police station to go and make a report, the police officers who are on duty, men and women, start to make fun of you. Gosh. Oh, you, you just say, you know, like, calm, mm -hmm. your breasts like this. See, your breasts. You know? Yeah. And it's true, you, like, you, a baby, I mean, you cannot go and report a kiss looking like this. <laughs> she was sitting there, it was five you minutes know? ago, I had to go <laughs> situate this, <laughs> like. Your first time, you don't get boyfriend, you know, what? that's, yeah, those mm -hmm. are the kinds of reports that we get of women, especially, because again, like I said, men don't often report um, mm. their own sexual abuses, right? But women do. And when they get to the police stations, um, the police officers don't take them seriously. Mm -hmm. We have cases of women who get to police stations and are raped again by the police no. officers. Oh, yeah, yeah. We, we, we have stories such as that. You get to a lot of hospitals, they don't have <sighs> rape kits. So imagine that we had a law in Lagos, for instance, where you every hospital is mandated to stock mm -hmm. rape kits. Yeah. Primary health centers, government hospitals, private hospitals, you must have a rape kit. That way every girl knows, every guy as well. I don't know how guys can prove that they were raped though, but uh, uh, with rape kits that is. Mm. Again, I have to mention, the fact that you have an erection doesn't mean that you were not raped as yeah. a guy. You know, as, sure. as rape is, I did not give my consent to have this kind of sex. Be it oral, be it um, vaginal, be it anal, I did not get, so sometimes you can give consent for oral sex, but not for vaginal oh, yes. sex. Yes, definitely. Yes. Oh my God. Oral, sometimes you can give consent for, sometimes you can give consent for oral and vaginal, but not anal. Oh, um, shit, yes. Yeah. What and, the fuck? Sometimes Why you are you sticking anything in my ass? Like, who told you I like fuck. that shit? And then you give consent, you also can give consent for sex with a condom. If the person oh, removes yes. the condom, that is that's rape. Right. Can I just so, like I'm I'm so triggered. <laughs> <laughs> this sorry. is something that happened to me personally. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. Wow. It's this fucked. Like, why would you take off a condom in the middle? In the UK, they'll be persecuted. And it's annoying the that we don't have those type of laws out here. Exactly. Mm. So see what I mean by your lawmakers have a lot of work to do, mm. but they're not doing it because they're probably guilty of the same. Because offense. men really need to be the at the forefront 
of the people that make the change. Girl, you be smelling some tea. Honestly, to be more involved in this topic well but i mean 97 percent is not just men it's men and women because rape okay. is a difficult thing to prove mm. rape is so difficult to prove um mm. because it's a crime that happens when the windows and doors are closed or in a dark alley somewhere on an office somewhere there's no third party mm. and it's difficult to prove that a rape occurred if there's no third party it's especially more difficult if there's nobody who does a test with a rape kit to ascertain mm. that there was rape and then when the sex isn't violent when the sex is coerced it's even more difficult to prove mm. that there mm. was rape you know so I think a lot of women who had sex for the first time who were not violently raped were coerced into having sex. So the boyfriend says to you, oh, I'm being faithful to you because I love you. You know, I'm not getting anywhere else. Why don't you want to give it up to me? Mm. That's coercion. Mm. Yeah, that shouldn't be it, it, I, lo I love how you're now even moving on to this. Because I feel about like all when... my sexual experiences. <laughs> yeah, life. exactly. With, like, with, with sexual... like you're, for a lot of women, your very first sexual experience yep. was probably mm -hmm. as a result of coercion. Of coercion. Yeah. And... and it's true. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Nicole. <laughs> like, <I'm thinking> about... <laughs> when it comes to sex, there's potential for a crime to occur. Mm. And in a room where there's a potential crime, you have to be as guilt-free as possible, whether you're a man or a woman. So you 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 are not allowed to say things like, if you don't give it to me, I'll go and get it outside. Mm. You know, like when you when you attach consequences to a failure on the part of the person who would be having the sexual relationship with you, when you attach consequences, like is this negative is consequences, poetry, then mm. then then it becomes then it becomes a, 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 a problem. Yes, then yes. it becomes a potential crime. And you, it's, because it's, if it's, that person isn't thinking about the consequences would they give you that sex this topic of you know coercion <laughs> um even just down to you know our peers let's say like okay obviously we've spoken about you know child and being younger and being intoxicated but even just amongst their peers even just going to visit a guy there's a guys who are like i don't understand what is it you come here for to charge your phone of course for you to visit me it means you want it. it even just down to you oh for you to visit me and you are wearing skimpy cloth mm. means you want it yeah but that's where rape culture starts from thank mm. you darling mm. so when men say of women that um oh why are you here why are you wearing a skimpy dress men are assuming that women do not have a mind of their own that i'm in your house and i'm wearing a skimpy dress doesn't mean i want to have sex with you it means Maybe I want you to find me sexy, mm -hmm. but it doesn't mean I want to have sex. Mm. Mm. There are some women who would come to your house and wear all of that skimpy stuff and will want you to touch them. And mm. when you start to touch them, they'll say, oh no, please don't touch me. Yes, and then you yeah. stop. So what about those ladies? And then you stop. So when and those then, ladies come. And then they leave. Right? Okay. And then when they leave, they start to insult you. Oh, you're not even a man. I mm. couldn't stop and you actually stopped. Okay. So men, what happens in that situation? Men need to understand that that comes from the same place as men cannot come forward with their rape. It's the same upbringing. It's the same conditioning. So they need to understand that women like that are not women you want to have anything to do with, period. Thank you. So if she's a Can woman, you say louder? So, so, so if she's a woman, <laughs> if she's a woman who is unsure, if she's a, not unsure in the sense that she doesn't want to have sex with you, but a woman who in the moment she's like, no, mm. and she gets home and starts to insult you, mm. that's a woman you should block on every social media platform. Yeah, like, free. like delete their number. Have Don't nothing contact to do with that baby. <laughs> because baby, it's 2021. Yeah. You either know you want to have sex with me or you know or you don't, don't want don't. to have sex with me. Don't be with women who give you mixed signals. Because mm. those are the women who will turn around tomorrow and cry wolf. Yes. yes. And who will turn around tomorrow and say you raped them. Yes. And I always say it's better better to have blue balls than it is to be called a rapist. Yeah. Girl. With all this whole conversation that we've had so far, what's the weirdest, you know, story that you've probably gotten about consent? Oh God, have you ever gone to a market in Nigeria? <laughs> ah, cat calling. Mm. Oh my <laughs> cat calling God. is all right. Grabbing is the problem. Mm. Have you never been grabbed in a market? My color. 
My wife! Talking ah. about ma- not only market, everywhere, even just like everywhere. in the club. Guys would just be like, like grab it. Like, yeah, you can so touch I mean, me. if that's not weird, I don't know what it is. So you go to a market and you're my color, you're my wife, you're my shape, you're my who opened the gates. When I was in Enugu back in the day, they, they would only say, ah, who opened the gates? Because that's usually for, that's usually reserved for girls who are, who they perceive as very pure, very pretty, very, mm. very unexposed. Mm. So you're going to the markets, you go to a wedding. The main market back in the day. Ah, koye boye ru nozo. That means who opened the gate. Speaking Igbo. <laughs> <laughs> That's like that. That means who opened the gate for mm-hmm. you people. You know. So I mean, there's no Nigerian woman that hasn't had an experience of being catcalled in the market mm. or in a public place or being grabbed mm. by a man. It's the entire um, perception of the man all over the world that women have no autonomy have no control over their own bodies have mm-hmm. no say over who they want to touch them and when and how mm-hmm. so um that's something that needs to change i do hope it changes in our lifetime conversations like this will help mm-hmm. it change that's why conversations like this are not too much they're not enough in my opinion we need to have more and more and more and we need to start having them as early as possible yes yeah. i was even going to speak about you know early um do you personally believe that sort of maybe consent the idea of the con- of consent or you know even understanding when no means no should be implemented in school hell yes mm. as early as primary school do you want to play with me moe mm. in the playground like it mm. starts so consent is not just about sexual stuff it's about everything Moe, may I take your pencil? Moe, may I drink your tea? Moe, may I um, play with your doll? May I um, touch your meal, Nicole? Mm. May we play together at the playground, Nicole? Mm. If we teach (laughs) children... (laughs) If we (laughs) teach... (laughs) She just gave me her consent. No, well... If we teach children how to get permission to do stuff mm. they learn that and they go into the world with that consent is also verbal and non-verbal mm-hmm. for the purpose of the 21st century it's better to get verbal consent i agree yeah. than non-verbal because mm-hmm. non-verbal can be misleading yes but when you can't get verbal it's 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 okay to get non-verbal so you put out your hand she puts out her hand too you shake that's non-verbal consent. You put your hand on her shoulder, she lets it be there. That's a non-verbal consent. Mm-hmm. Sometimes she's too uncomfortable, too un- afraid, especially if you have power over her. You're her boss, you're somebody who can give her a contract, you're somebody who can give him a job, you're somebody who can make his life uncomfortable. You put your hand over his shoulder or her shoulder and she's like, oh, what do I do? Do I do I, do I, do I, do I give do in? I do I not? Mm-hmm. So it's best to not. It's 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 actually better to say, oh, may I put my hand on your shoulder? And yo, we can all say that, oh, you know, but when you do that, the romance is lost. It's they lie it just means you're not a romantic guy you're not a sexy mm. guy or a sexy girl so there are some people who are raped at a young age or who are raped multiple times and they start to seek out multiple sexual, multiple partners sexual partners because they're trying to feel in control mm. so it has a myriad of effects if you do your research there are a number of effects that it has mm. uh, af- the aftermath of sexual assault rape the, the aftermath of not getting consent before you have sexual relations mm. with a person there's a number of documented um, um, uh, 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 documented effects mm. on the subject it's amazing how everyone can share a story of how they were sexually assaulted harassed raped but no one seems to know a and rapist, rapist. Mm-hmm. <laughs> isn't that crazy no, no, no. so we all know rapists as women we know mm. rapists it's the men who don't know rapists Mm, so, so it's the men who don't know so, so they're the ones who need rapists. to ask themselves questions so men ask you know? yourselves so when they're hanging out at the bar when they're talking about what's that well, that big we come my house so much you know grill and i just you know fire down she gone green mm. she come green did she though did she did she though <laughs> either way it's been absolutely amazing <laughs> but i feel like woo, let's have a game oh god mm. yeah <laughs> How well do you know consent? Well, clearly very well. She knows consent very well. (laughs) (laughs) Just, yeah, a fear of being shamed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Being blamed, shamed. 
um they are afraid of the stigma there's still a lot of stigma ah you don't know that babe that baby didn't rape now yeah that baby oh. mm. yeah ah, you don't know it's nicole nicole with their yeah. rape it's not embarrassment it's stigma stigma mm. yes yeah, more of stigma it's stigma it's also the reason why parents don't report the rape of their wards because i who go marry this one they don't rape mm. the raped are looked upon as spoiled as spoiled goods mm. spoiled victims goods. You know, when all of that stigma should be attached to the rapist. To the rapist. I would prefer headlines of Mr. Olu Oluobi, blah, 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 raped um, so, 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 and so, instead of Not somebody, so, 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 somebody so, was, so, raped was raped by. Raped by. Yeah. That's false. <laughs> Wait. I feel like it sounds false. Criminal sex. Wait, say it again. False. 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 I think it's A more. Yeah, I think For a. me, the way my life is going is definitely A. I'm gonna I say D. A. What's D again? Uh, uh, make you feel good about yourself. You should. Sure? I you think, think A. I mean, A. I don't need anyone to make me feel good about myself. Okay, no, yeah, that's true. I, but at the same time, but at they the should, same time, they should contribute know, no, no, to no, no, you. No, they, 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 should, they should. They should. False. No, more than one, wouldn't they? They, they wouldn't On the target type child now. only. True. No. Hey. On the targeted child only. I think. Okay, they might be targeting more than one they child. They may be targeting more than one child. Yeah, they may be, but that's not what the question is. The question is asking if they are targeting that particular child. I don't oh, think no. so. No, 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 no. Oh, my, would I feel I yelled to you? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. No, 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 no. No, they wouldn't target only one child. No, they no. wouldn't. True. True. It's been an amazing, amazing session talking mm -hmm. about consent mm -hmm. and when no means no. At the point the no comes out of the mouth. Of yes, the person, literally, no. like that's it. Bet. It doesn't matter if you're on top of me uh -huh. or on top of Sandra. I always say, I always say, it's better to be tagged a weak person, man or woman, than to be tagged a rapist. Thank definitely, you. Definitely, definitely. Okay, so make sure you seek that consent make sure Get you it. do fully mm -hmm. understand that your partner or the partner is saying no mm -hmm. and yeah mm -hmm. i think it will be good from that yeah but before we go we do have something for you don't we my yes, way we do, my darling mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and just like that it appears <laughs> i was literally like uh, what is it me <laughs> So you do have natural hair, and we were just complimenting it just a mm -hmm. second ago. And beautiful. Yes, we want you to keep it refreshed and beautiful. So mm -hmm. nice and luxurious yes. okay. and lucky. And <laughs> I feel like I'm getting an award in life. Yes. And, uh, so who is this from? Anyway? This oh is God. from Beauty by Ladino Naturals. Okay. Yes, we know we love your nat. Oh, you love. And we also love it. <laughs> your natural hair. So well, yes. Thank you. We decided My to gift you this thank amazing you. natural products. Yes, and um, yeah, thank you for coming on the show. Well, um, thank you, Beauty by Ladino. My locks, thank you. And thank mm -hmm. you, Moe, and thank you, Nicole. Woo! I love gifts. Hey. You have my consent. We well, have to give you, you yeah. Yeah. this. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. And like we yeah. always, always say, it's always tea, tea time. time. <laughs>